everyone! In today's DIY December video, we are gonna be making some stockings. And these aren't your ordinary stockings because you guys probably can tell that I really like upcycling things. That is what I have done with my grocery bags or just shopping bags in general. So I have upcycled a paper bag and turned it into a stocking. And you can either use this as a traditional stocking or a gift bag. So if you keep the hand on you can stuff this with some tissue paper and put your gifts in it and it's a really cute and creative way to give a gift so why not take a free bag that you would normally just recycle or throw away and turn it into something else and give it a second life I hope you guys enjoy this and stick around till the end because I'm gonna have some stocking stuffer ideas for you guys as well so yeah Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna need for this project is a big paper bag. Now, I went to a cooking store and I loved the pattern on this bag, so that's why I saved it. But you can also go to like Whole Foods and Trader Joe's, places that have paper bags, and they have holiday prints on their bags as well. So when you go grocery shopping, you can save the bags, or you can just go into the store and ask them and they'll give you a bag for free. And then you'll just need some scissors, a single hole punch, some tape, and yarn. I've cut my paper bag. I just went around the bottom and then up the sides So I was left with two flat pieces and this just makes it easier to work with It's super easy to do and then on the back of this side I drew in a stocking so I used a thin pen for this I didn't want to use a marker because I didn't want it to bleed through and I drew it on the back side because I didn't want the lines to show on the front just in case when I cut around the line may still be visible so I drew a nice thin line and you can get a template online or you can just freehand it like I did. With the second piece of the bag, I'm laying it on the table so the pattern side is facing up and then I'm taking the side with the template and placing it over the top like this. So the pattern sides are touching each other. And I'm doing this so when I cut out the stocking and put the pieces together, the pattern sides will both be on the outside. And to make sure this doesn't move around while I'm cutting, I am just going to take the bag and now it's time to cut it out. Once your pieces are cut out and you put them together, you will see that you are left with a super cute little stocking bag. And now it's time to start punching the holes. So I'm just going to take my hole punch and go all the way around the edge of the stocking. Then you just want to take your yarn and twist up the end and wrap some tape around it. It kind of acts like a needle, only it's a lot less pointy. So when you're finished, you should be left with something like this. And then you can start weaving the yarn through the holes. So I am going to come up through the hole and then underneath and back up through the other one. So that way the yarn kind of wraps around the edge of the bag. Once you get to the end, I just like to cut the end off and then weave it around onto the inside and tape it down with some tape. I'm just doing the same thing with the other side. I have my tape here and I'm just going to tape that down. And when you're finished, your ends will look like that. Now that you have your stocking complete, you're gonna need some ideas for what to put inside, whether you're using this as a gift bag or as a traditional stocking that you hang somewhere. So I have some things here and they're all under $15 and I think they're really fun stocking stuffers. For me, the number one thing that I always looked forward to in my stocking, you guys are gonna think I'm such a huge weirdo. Socks. I really loved getting either like crazy pattern socks or these fuzzy socks. They're just the best during this time of the year and they can kind of double up as slippers as well. So I don't know if you're a weirdo like me and you also enjoy sliding on wood floors, put some socks 
in your friends' stockings or your family members' stockings. I also have a little nail polish here because nail polishes are small and there's a color out there for everybody. So this one is Lots of Lux from Essie and I just think this is a really pretty like purpley, blue, sparkly color. Now something that you may not normally see as a stocking stuffer but I think is a great idea and I would love this in my stocking, a candle. And this is the White Barn Frosted Cupcake Candle that I got from Lavocracy. So this is a smaller candle, it's not one of like the huge ones. There's also a smaller size that you can get but I think this one is good because it lasts for a decent amount of time and it still fits into a stocking. If you guys don't know what Lavocracy is I've been using it for a little while now and I love it more and more every time I use it. I got this candle from Lavocracy and I actually also got this little Kath Kitson um, sweatshirt with little penguins on it. I think it's super cute. Look! I love it! I just think it's really festive and fun and comfy too. But I got these things off of Lavocracy and I love making little collections so it's basically like curating all of these things from the internet into one place. I've been using Lavocracy to separate out my products for the videos that I've been posting which is really helpful for me but you can also shop. So everything that is in a collection you can buy directly from the site. There's also a Lavocracy app that you can use on your phone and I've used it so many times. I really like just browsing through the different photos and it gives me a lot of inspiration. You can find everything that I'm talking about right now on my Lavocracy page and if you'd like to see even more ideas for what I would think would be great gift ideas, I will have my Lavocracy page and the collections linked down below as well as the app if you guys want to check that out. I found this Morona wallet and phone case and I love stuff like this because when I'm in a hurry and I don't feel like carrying a purse, I just want my phone, my cards, and my car key and this is a great way to keep everything in one place and I loved how this had this like clear back so you can see your phone without opening it up but when you open it up there's like a space for your cards and stuff and then your phone can just go right here. Another beauty thing that I have here is one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Rocket from Maybelline and it's waterproof of course I love waterproof mascaras and this is just my favorite mascara right now. I haven't really found anything that I like better. I just feel like Maybelline mascaras always do the best job at holding a curl and they don't smudge so I just kind of stick with them and this one is my favorite from all of the Maybelline mascaras right now. Even if the person isn't super into makeup, most people will wear mascara so you can't go wrong with it. And I had to include these. They are chocolate gold coins. This is another thing that I loved getting in my stocking when I was younger and I would get them every year. For some reason chocolate just tastes better to me when it's in the form of a gold coin. I love unwrapping them. It's just really nostalgic to me so I kind of like to pass that along to my friends. And there's going to be a giveaway where two people will win $100 each to spend on Lavocracy which is amazing because you can basically just get anything that you want. Like if it's on the internet you can get it. And all you have to do to enter is sign up for Lavocracy. Again, that link will be down below. And then leave a comment telling me what you want for Christmas. But yeah, other than that, I will not see you guys tomorrow. Remember, there are no DIY December videos on Sunday, but I will see you on Monday. So have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye!